So hi, my name is Charlie Holdemote and I'm going to be teaching a clove hitch as part of unit two for my forest schools training. So there are two ways um, to tie a clove hitch. So I'm gonna show you the first one where you make the loop and you put it over the stick. And um, this is really good, uh, for example, if you're gonna be uh, putting tent pegs into the ground um, and want to have some tension on those. Um, so what you need to do is take your rope and twist your hand over so you make a loop so you've got one loop there and then you're going to do it again you're going to take your rope and you're going to twist your hand over and you're going to make a loop so you've got two loops you're going to take your first loop and you're going to put it on top of your second loop like so and then you're going to put it on to your stick and then put it tight on that is your clove hitch. There is another way to tie this. So I'm just gonna loosen this off. So if you can't access the ends, for example, um, and you want to still tie the clove hitch, so it's a good starting knot, um, what you do is you take your rope around your stick and then you cross over Sorry, a bit thing, fingers and thumbs there. You cross over that piece of rope that's the standing rope there. And then you come back across. So you're making kind of an X shape. And you come back over the top. Under. And then you just lift up where it goes into the middle. And you post it through there. And then you can pull both your ends nice and secure. And again, you have yourself a clove hitch.